what's up YouTube this is car addict um, I actually meant to do this in Arizona uh, but as you can tell I can barely speak right now last night I couldn't talk at all and it hit me like that uh, Wednesday I was fine Wednesday night fine Thursday morning felt a little bit under the weather but mostly just like a runny nose and then in the car that night all of a sudden my throat hurt so bad I could barely talk I think that's what I sounded like um, so anyways I'm doing it now that I can somewhat talk uh, basically I've now towed I would probably say maybe a little more than a thousand pounds all the way from Seattle into Baja uh, so I put a lot of miles on this thing towing and honestly it's not that bad um, there's a few things you gotta remember though one I got screwed and uh, if I had stock wheels and tires it'd probably be fine but I had I was going on the 90 and I thought I'd look it up and it said uh, it was my, like low impact something about uh, slush and water on the road but I uh, didn't say anything about chains and then I get 30 miles down the road and then there's a sign on the right side of the road chains required 11 miles when the rear tire goes up in the fender there's like no clearance so I can't run chains on my setup anyways if my wheels were inset further and had more sidewall sure so you got to be more uh, ahead of the game looking up the passes whether you're towing or not really but um side note too do not take Highway 26 across the pass in Oregon if you don't have to. Check these pictures out. This is from a pristine looking car. I polished it. When I rotated the tires, I cleaned the, the entire wheel. Uh, the car was flawless. It just looked good. And then, holy crap, just through that pass. these pictures the entire way it's like they gravel the road they don't salt it for the snow or whatever they gravel it which so I mean I'm really surprised I don't have rock chips all over the sides of the car because I just like ding, 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 the whole time I was driving it I did get a couple chips in the vinyl I just did on the grill a couple more on the bumper a couple more on the hood stuff like that and I got a two Whatever hit me was big and it cracked the windshield in two separate spots right above each other. Uh, so I didn't come out very well off of that highway. But there's that. Um, the two main issues though really with towing is I guess I would say payload. Not necessarily the weight pulling it because braking, there is no problem. Power, there's no problem. Uh, I mean, I'd be going up some pretty steep hills. I would just leave it the sixth and cruise, doing about 80, 85. Which, yes, I speed even towing a trailer. <laughs> but, uh, the speed limits are 75, so I'm not doing that much over. But, anyways, there was a couple times I'd hit fifth, but most of them I just leave it the sixth. And, I mean, it might get into it a little bit to where it's pushing like five or six pounds of boost to get up the hill. But, it never got to the point where I thought it was working too hard and where I had to take over a downshift. A couple times I did it in the fit, which it's kind of cool. The car lets you, <coughs> I'm losing my voice again already. Uh, you can shift without even touching the gas or anything and it cuts the throttle for you. But then it makes kind of a delay because you push the clutch and it drops the throttle out, put it the gear, let off, and then it takes time to bring it back up. So as far as getting where you're going, taking off and stopping it's fine but my car is not lowered originally it is right now I even actually put my uh, I got a bin with probably two gallons of oil and now it's actually got about eight gallons of gas in it but it mostly only had about four gallons in the way down here and I'll tell you why in a second it's full now uh, that's behind the quad on the end of the trailer and I have the quad in the middle of the trailer on the axle to try to keep most of the tongue weight off. And still, the wheels are up, almost up into the wheel well. So you can't really put a lot of tongue weight on it. Um, 
The other issue is fuel mileage. I mean, 22 miles to the gallon really isn't that bad. When I first started driving, having a car that got 22 miles to the gallon, period, was good. To be able to have a car that's 22 miles to the gallon pulling a quad and a trailer and a kid and all our shit <coughs> up mountains and stuff is pretty damn good. But a car that gets 42 miles to the gallon doesn't have a big tank. So, uh, listen to how many times that screwed me. The moral is do not pass a gas station. Uh, the route that I went, because the 90 was closed, it had me jumping like freeway to freeway to freeway to freeway. I wasn't seeing gas stations. And in Oregon, they pump it for you. They shut all their pumps down at night. Safeway was uh, shut down. All the little mom and pop places with one pump. Nobody's there. So I ended up pouring the 85 that I brought for the quad in the car. And I'd make it to the gas station. There was two times I hit zero on the range. About 15 miles from the gas station. Made it. One time I ran out, if you see my Instagram, uh, I ran out. And I could see the sign that said next exit, and I could see the exit. That's how damn close I was. So I put my 85 in again. I ran through all my 85 from the quad just to get the damn car to the gas stations. And uh, so now I don't care if I'm, I've only used up like a third of a tank. I've only done 60, 70 miles or 50 miles. If I see a gas station, I fill up. And actually, uh, Arizona's E85 is $1.93. But I tested it and it's only E52. And the requirement <coughs> is like 51 to 83 is what the pump says. So they barely pass with a 52. But if, I mean, I would just fill up with straight E50 and pretty much, that's a little bit too much ethanol for what I need. But it would work just fine. And this is not too much, it's more than I need would be fine and then I could fill up for a dollar ninety three. One pump, not worry about blends or anything like that. Um so and then in the wind so I guess back to the towing what this is about. Uh I could always feel when there was wind, but it was more that I could kind of hear it because the car is not that quiet. It is pretty good, but you could kind of hear the wind going across and you could feel it like a load against the car and you get more throttle. But I never felt like the wind was pulling the trailer around, pulling me around at all, especially no more than it would if it was just a car. It was still pretty stable. You just knew the wind was there, but you didn't really feel it, I guess. Um, accelerating, you definitely know it's there, but the car will go still pretty good if you wanted to. Um, getting in and out of the driveways, obviously with the weight, and in Arizona at least, there's a lot of... Uh, pretty aggressive water runoffs at driveways and stuff so you got to get creative with your angles especially backing something in because you got to like back the trailer up in it and then cut forward again and bring the car in at the angle so you don't scrape that's kind of a pain in the ass and i don't i've never had it happen anyways but i was kind of thinking you're going on a corner if the trailer hit a bump and it would kind of want to go you might feel it try to pull your ass end around a little bit or something maybe just because the car is not that heavy, but the trailer is not either. Um, and when I said 22, right now though, that's doing 85. When I was in town, I filled up and I was only doing 35, 45 around town with a trailer. I was still getting the 30s, and I don't know what the hell this converts to, but I'm doing uh, 50, 60 right now, and I'm getting 8.4. It's 8.4 liters to 100 kilometers. I'm guessing that's around 30 miles of the gallon. I think 8.7 was 27. As you see, I'm here. So when I get to that long stretch of road on the return trip, when I drop everything off so I can do it with no kid, no trailer, I'm gonna haul ass and see what we can do. Now I'm just rambling for the sake of rambling, and I see this video is already at 12 and a half minutes, so I'm gonna have to cut some of this crap out. I'll let you go right there. I'm gonna have to pass this guy real quick, and uh, talk to you guys later. Please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. All right, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> I can't wait to get my voice back.